Now, what would you say for the young ladies out there who might watch this and they want to dress themselves up and they want to go out on a Friday night or, mm -hmm. or prom night, what, what products would you recommend, if any? Or techniques? <sighs> or techniques. Blending. Everyone needs to blend better. They do like these crazy, like they don't blend their eyeshadows so you see a line or they don't blend here and you can see it or their, their blush is just like a, like a piece of chocolate, <laughs> you know? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. When you get the kids menu, what's on a kids menu? It's burgers, fries, uh, maybe hot wings or chicken fingers. Pizza. Uh, pizza. Macaroni and cheese. All the things that kids love. Yeah. They didn't come out of the womb <laughs> asking for pizza. But with me, I have two kids. So when they see these kids' commercials or they're watching something, hey, listen, here's a new toy, but guess what? It's advertised and mixed in with a food commercial. Kids don't come out of the womb asking for macaroni and cheese or watermelon flavored Oreo cookies, <laughs> okay? They like that food because the parents get it for them. Right. If I took you to mainland China mm -hmm. and we went into a home and we were eating a meal there, those kids are eating what the parents are eating. They're eating fish, they're eating vegetables. There's no kids menu. Doesn't exist. Right. And something that you did, I, I saw uh, on your YouTube, you, you left a little something behind. You, you took something with you, but you left some behind. Talk about, what, about the mural that you left behind and why. Um. Been doing a mural I call uh, Angels Among Us. Mm -hmm. First time I did it was in at kind of a uh, tribute to a friend's daughter who passed away. Okay. And I did it in front of a group of people, a congregation. And after that first time, I had so many people tell me how much they were moved by that. And that was part of how I want my art to be impactful. I want my art. I want my art to be positive, man. I want it to do good things. I, want, no, it's, I know I've been given that gift to do good things. So the angel is a symbol that I may not be there, but I left it to be there with you. Because right. I, I do consider myself to be an angel. Fast forward, you looking at this upcoming season. What are we going to see with the running back position? It's going to be the same because, as, as he said, it's, it's a copycat league. So now you'll see even more quarterbacks trying to run the ball because Kaepernick is the cool thing right now in the league. Like, he is the fan favorite. He is what Michael Vick was when he first came into the league. And so there are going to be other quarterbacks. You see Matt Ryan sometimes trying to run the ball, and you're like, no, Matt, don't do that. Please, you're not a runner. Follow up on that. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. One of these quarterbacks is going to get killed. You know, you see him with RG3. He's, he hasn't been the same since all three that, Atlanta that Falcons yeah. piled onto his face uh, on the sideline. So I think what's going to happen, they're going to notice all these guys getting hit. And, you know, with guys coming in the league like Johnny Manziel coming in the league, he can't take that many hits. So if you have your quarterback continuing to go out, and we played against uh, spread option teams, and I was in Arizona with Ray Horton. And his first thing was whenever you had a speed option type team, the first thing you do is hit the quarterback. Hit him every single time. I don't care how long the running back runs. You hit him every single time. They're going to stop running that ball. I don't care if they get 80 yards every play because you don't want to hurt the franchise. But when you're thinking about it this way, the collegiate level basically dictates what type of athletes and what type of system is going to be played in the NFL. So right now, the read option, the spread, shotgun, guys without footwork. So basically, footwork for quarterbacks is a thing of the past. You have a lot of guys that are going to the NFL, don't have really good mechanics, don't have really good footwork because they're sitting in the gun all day. And once you get to that one to two yard line, you have to go shotgun because your quarterback does not have the footwork to basically hand the ball off properly. So the college level is basically dictating what type of athletes and quarterbacks that are going to play and the teams are going to have on the next level. Now you have taking a step towards a second career. <laughs> You've kind of gotten yourself into uh, broadcasting. Uh, and there's a lot of quarterbacks right now working that's, that are doing play-by-play, -play, doing radio. What, what was it about that that made you want to gravitate towards that? Nick, honestly, it's just the passion for the game. You know, not wanting to let go, still wanting to be, a, be around it have the opportunity to watch film, you know, with a purpose, not just watching film to watch film. Uh, and I think there's this idea that I just, I would like to educate people and inform people about the game of football. You know, I, I listen to some other guys do it sometimes and 
I'm, I'm thinking in my head, man, that's, that's not what they're doing here. Mm-hmm. You know, this is what they're actually trying to accomplish. So uh, just a desire to educate people about the game. It's, it's blessed me with so much. It's taught me so many lessons that I want to take the opportunity to try to you know, teach people the lessons that it's taught me and share that with them.